cars and trucks snake down this hill at Pulaski County High School to reach the dairy giveaway site, which started at 9 in the morning, but people were lined up well in advance to be sure they got theirs. The idea to give away the free products came from UK graduate and lifelong dairyman H. H. Barlow, who is the executive director of the Kentucky Dairy Development Council. One of the things that I've always loved about being in the dairy business is I'm producing a very nutritious product. Many people consider it, you know, and I guess I've always felt this way, it's nature's most perfect food. You know, we've got calcium, protein, energy, you know, all of those things in our product. And it's so we're very excited about the opportunity to give this milk away. The Coronavirus Assistance Program for Agriculture provided $3 billion to purchase food, including dairy products. Between 300 and 500 million of that was for southern states like Kentucky. What happened was the government actually awarded contracts to different companies to process that milk and distribute it mainly to food banks. That's how it got started. When the food banks filled up with the dairy products and couldn't handle any more, they gave it away through nonprofits. KDDC and Dairy Processors, Prairie Farms and Bordens in Kentucky were there to lend a hand. Now the contents of the box included regular milk, flavored milk, sour cream, cream cheese, cottage cheese, and even French onion dip. And it was free to anyone who wanted it. And to see the look on people's faces when they get that free milk is really good because there's some of the people out here that really are needy and that's food for them. To hand out the products required a lot of help, including employees from Prairie Farms, which is located in Somerset, the Kentucky Dairy Development Council, and Pulaski County High School FFA. FFA advisor and UK graduate Janella Miller said the students were happy to do it in the hot, humid weather to help out their community. They're very motivated to be out in the community. They've been sheltered way too long and they're ready to work. Uh, and they're hard workers, so it came natural. For each giveaway, Borden and Prairie Farms supply a refrigerated semi-truck full of milk and other dairy products. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.